In this video, I will be showing you the settings that I'd use on my Samsung RX Vega 64 flash to a Vega 56 to achieve 54 mega hash on Ethereum. I'll be going over the overclock settings, memory timings, as well as the Team Red minor config that I use. For overclock settings, I'm using 1060 megahertz on the core, 818 millivolts for core voltage, 1000 megahertz for memory clock, and 1290 millivolts for memory voltage. Remember, you will need to adjust these settings to get your own GPU stable. These are just settings that have worked well for me. I've been running stable for over a month. The memory timings that I use for my Samsung memory are these here. I will have them copied in the video description. In terms of hash rate, these settings were able to give me 54 mega hash, pulling around 180 to 185 watts at the wall. This gives you about a 0.3 mega hash per watt efficiency, which isn't all that bad considering this is a five-year-old GPU. Lastly, to configure the Team Red Miner, you need to go to your flight sheet under Miner Con config and add these two arguments. First, you need to add the eth config equals b. This setting will allow the GPU to use all 8 gigabytes of video memory, which helps with power efficiency as it allows you to run a slightly lower core clock to memory clock ratio. The second argument that we are running is eth big mode adjust. When using either b or c modes, the miner runs better with the more VRAM allocated. Unfortunately, the drivers aren't accurate in reporting how much memory is possible to allocate. With this setting we're able to overwrite the 256 megabyte buffer and instead we can lower that down to only leaving 64 megabytes free which allows us to use a little bit more memory adding to the efficiency of the team red minor b mode you can find more information on these commands within the team red minor tuning document as there's a lot more information on how to use these properly overall these settings and memory timing should give you a good starting point when tuning your vega gpus if this video was helpful consider subscribing and i look forward to seeing you in my next overclocking video take care